consider myself a movie buff, so uh, here we go. Lately I've been watching a lot of films and I wanted to talk about three that I enjoyed and they're kind of different than your average film. And the first one. The first film is called Daughter of Horror and it was made in 1955. It's black and white and has no dialogue except for a, a narrator that comes in adding tidbits of information and kind of guiding you. There's actually a version where there is no uh, narrator but I watched the version with the narrator. I don't know. It was helpful. I think it might be more confusing if there was no narrator. So the film follows this young girl and you're made to think that she is insane and you follow her through this one night and all the events that take place and what happens and what she goes through and you're seeing it through her kind of her point of view but you're more following it as a third person and then the narrator comes in and tells you information. This film is odd but I don't know, it captivated me from the very beginning. Even though there was no dialogue, you didn't really need it. So yes, it might you might find it slow and it's not a film for everyone, but if you like horror or, it's not exactly horror, but mystery and old movies, because I know some people really just don't like old movies, I don't know why, I love any type of film, um, then it's a film for you. It also kind of had hints of Hitchcock that it reminded me. I don't know. I really like Hitchcock films and I think that's what attracted me to this at first. But it's a it's an it's an interesting film to experience and to to watch once and yeah. So watch it. Okay, and the second film is called The Pirate and it was made in 1948 by the director Vincent Minnelli. Overall the film was great. It's such a fun, funny, lighthearted film and I loved it. The two main actors is Judy Garland and Gene Kelly and I both love them both. And yes, the film was a little, it was over the top. The costumes did change and did not match whatever country they're supposed to be in. It was just a humongous big production and it's, but it's lighthearted and it's fun and yeah, it's, it's a basic love story plotline and there are a few twists and turns and no, you can predict what's going to happen, but it's just a really fun film. It's also a musical, so if you love musicals, you should watch it. A um, bunch of scenes that remind me of Wizard of Oz, of just different things that happen and maybe if you watch it, you'll see it too. Also, which which then le led me to the impression that uh, Minnelli was kind of just copying from other films and in the end Gene Kelly sings a c song called Be a Clown and it's exactly like um, Make Em Laugh which is sung in Singing the Rain and I'm thinking okay you're just copying it you're just copying what your other actors have been in because Judy Garland's in Wizard of Oz, Gene Kelly's in um, Singing in the Rain and so I looked it up on IMDB and I found out that Be a Clown is actually the original and uh, Singing Rain copied it. Gene Kelly, I think, actually rewrote it. They asked him to. So yeah, it, it's, it's not the best film, no, but it's fun and it's funny and it's just a really lovable film. At first I was kind of just making fun of it for all its quirks and stuff, but in the end I really loved it. And lastly, the third film is called La Strada and it's directed by Fellini and it was done in 1954. Now this was my second Fellini film that I ever watched and the first one I watched was Amacord, probably pronouncing it wrong. I didn't particularly enjoy it but this La Strada was just heartwarming and I really loved the film. It follows a, a carnival strongman and uh, he needs a new assistant and he goes to his family because I think her sister died and that's who he had and he takes this other, the mother's like, oh, take my oldest daughter and she goes. She doesn't really want to go because she's never been away from home, but I think she, this actress who, I can't pronounce her name so I'm not going to try it, but I'll put it, her da the name down in the doobly-doo, um, is what made the film for me. She was, she's such a beautiful, great actor, facial expressions are priceless. I think she really reminded me of like Chaplin when he played the character the tramp in his facial expressions. Now I don't know if she drew from him or I don't know but she was really great um, and it's this kind of love story mixed up love story and it's just a really 
beautiful, sweet film. Those are the three th films that I have watched recently, and I enjoyed them all. So those are the three films that I watched, and maybe you'll watch them too and enjoy them, or maybe you'll... Bye, guys.